Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am going to start work on my um, December daily. I kind of spaced it, so um, I didn't do it uh, yesterday, but it's kind of fine anyway, because until you go through that day, you don't really always know what to um, journal on, so like, you'll probably see this on December 3rd. I won't have the 3rd done, I'll just have the 1st and 2nd done. So, um, this journal is from last year. It's from uh, Melody Willoughby at Willoughby House. She makes wonderful journals and I didn't get done with uh, my December daily. I didn't get every day done. I only got to like I think the 16th or 17th or something. Um, so I'm just going to continue on using this same journal um, this year because, you know, I, I have all this back here that isn't, doesn't have anything in it. So I think we're going to go ahead and start on this page right here. That's why I have my little paper clip there. And so this will be last year and then this will be this year. And I'm sure I probably won't get every day done again, but it's fine if you don't. It's just fun to look back and see some of the memories of things you might have done. And I know this year will probably be, you know, not super exciting, but it's still, you know, fun to see some stuff. So we made these together in a video, and if you um, didn't get to see that video, I will try to remember to link it. If I forget, just remind me. Um, they're just little clusters with a number on them for each day of December. We only got to the 6th, so I may do another video using those. So I'm just going to put this up in the corner. So I hope you're all having a nice day. I hope you... Uh, do a December daily even though I know like everybody's stuck inside but we're all kind of in the same boat and it is history it is part of you know what is going on in the world so um, you might not think it's very interesting but if you pass your journals and stuff down um, somebody in the future might you know find it interesting so document what is going on and yeah I just think it's a, a good way to to have that information for the future. So, and plus it's just fun anyway. <laughs> I love to play with paper, so any chance for that is great. I don't generally keep a journal because I just am not good at that uh, writing everyday thing. I probably should try to keep one and just write whenever I feel like it, but I just don't generally keep one. I don't, I don't know why, I just like making them. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then I want to use one of these pockets um, that I made in the Didi Farago um, Don't Freak Out Before Christmas challenge, and I didn't get a whole lot of that done because I had too many other things going on at the same time, So, but I want to keep um, samples of these, so this will kind of be like an idea book too for me, which is always nice. So this is one that was a like number 10 business envelope. And we just collaged all over it. This is the flap of the envelope, envelope, and then it's just cut short. So, and then you glue it closed here, and it makes a pocket. And then the flap of the envelope is also a pocket. So I think I'll put that probably about here, just so that um, when we've got this in there, because this will be our tag, it's not going to cover up that entirely. So that's how I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So yeah, go on over to Willoughby House and um, see if Melody's got some. I, I didn't check today, but she usually has journals in there, and she makes very lovely journals, so definitely worth checking out. And she's super sweet and awesome, and um, she does have really nice tea-dyed, coffee-dyed paper, which I've mentioned a few times, but I mean, I love her paper, so... Um, Definitely, if you don't like dyeing yourself or whatever, go check it out. This is going to be an interesting book to work with because it's so fat. I shoved in Christmas cards and everything else, so. But that's kind of the way they get, you know. I'm going to actually take this away. She used my um, Letters to Santa digital download to make this journal, too, which made it, you know, special. It's just kind of fun to see... Um, your digital's used. I do like to see that. And I left this open at the back. I can add something else if I want to. That way. Just doesn't want to stick on that corner over there. So 
I think what I'll do is add a little more glue. I'll close it up and see this way. And we'll just let it dry before we do anything else with that particular page. So we can work on our tag that's going to go in there. And I uh, printed out just some different pictures. I think I want to use just our decorations. So like I have our new Christmas tree that we got. So I thought that would be fun. And then I just took a picture of our nativity um, that we have. So I thought I could do something like this maybe. I don't know. Those are both kind of big. I could put one on the front and one on the back. I kind of want something to see through that window that's in there. So I'm almost thinking this should go. I know you'll... Hmm. Don't know. <laughs> Let me see if I can find some kind of paper I want to use. I didn't think that, that part through all the way as far as what to see through the window, but I guess it'll just be whatever it is, right? <clears throat> I think I'm going to take some of this greenery. This is from my Woodland Santa, and I just shrunk down the pages. So yeah, I got other stuff together, but I didn't um, think through exactly how I wanted to do this. mess again. Once I can clean up from Christmas, that always seems to be my worst mess is when I do Christmas because I just do one thing after another and I really don't ever put everything entirely away, you know, because you just got to get it out again. So <clears throat> this is just tends to be the biggest mess I have all year. I think I'll do something like that and then I'll put the Christmas tree on the back of it. I know that doesn't give me a whole lot of writing space doing that. I can always add a piece of paper in the very back of the pocket to journal on, so it's fun to have pictures. Ah, so boopy. And then let me see if I have... words here to use and I'll put a link um, where they're from. It's gifts and things and then it's like WL or something. I don't know why I struggle with remembering that one but I'll link it so that you can go check it out. And I've used it like in every video and I cannot remember the name of it no matter how many times I type it. It just is, escapes me entirely. <laughs> I know it's gifts and things, I just can't remember if it's WM or WL at the end. And I'm not affiliated with them at all, I just um, needed words and these were great. There's lots of them, lots of different ones and different fonts and so, yeah. And my glue's almost gone on this one. I have two going at the same time right now for some reason. I'm not sure how I did that, but anything's possible, right? I like using guest checks. They're just kind of, that one's just been coffee dyed. They're a good size for a lot of tags you might want to use, and you can just grab it and put stuff on it and then back it or whatever. And I, I like to have, you know, part of it showing, too. I don't like to cover the whole thing. Oh, my goodness. I am just all thumbs today. Oh, you guys are so funny. So many of you said, you threw away your joy, the word joy that I was looking for the other day in my video. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm such a dope. <laughs> I totally believe you that I threw it away. In fact, I think I might have said that because 
I'm just dingy. I don't know why I struggle so much with that kind of thing. But I do it even when I'm not videoing. I mean, it seems to be worse when I am, but um, yeah, I just, I'm just dingy. I don't know what else I can say. So I'm sorry if that drives people crazy. It's just me. Okay, and then on the back, we're going to put our Christmas tree, and I think I'll round those corners. And I just printed this on um, white copy paper. So, but you can obviously use like photo paper or whatever you like. But um, I like to just do them on paper. And I know that won't last forever, but. Honestly, all of us that care won't last forever either. <laughs> so. And I didn't put that tree up, you know, yesterday or what, on the first, but it's just fun to see your decorations every year. <clears throat> I think. I'm just trying to find a little something, maybe. This one. Yeah, maybe something like that. I, those die cuts were gifted to me. They're, that's not a Tim Holtz piece. <clears throat> so I don't, I don't know where those came from. I mean, I got them from Robin, but I don't know originally where they came from. It's just a little something on there to decorate, and then I can write below. I didn't strengthen that, so I think I'll probably put some kind of paper down here on the bottom, even though that's a good spot to write, because these um, those little perforated ends can come off. So I'll try to find something to put along there that'll help keep it there. <laughs> and I got three really everywhere like usual. Okay, do I have my Christmas? Scraps. No. I'm going to grab my Christmas scraps. Just a second. Sorry about that. I'm going to put a little something down there at the bottom. Just a few cardinals would work. I like cardinals. I don't want to chop them off. I want like their heads and everything on. Would be helpful, right? Uh, I'm not going to get one. <laughs> well, that's not good. Let me slap something out. <clears throat> This would be better. Look at the merry and bright.
with that a little bit. Gotta get my son to make some Christmas crack. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's kind of like an English toffee, you know, or something. You put down um, saltine crackers and then kind of make like a caramel and pour it all over it and top it with chocolate chips and spread those all over. And sometimes we even put some Heath crumbles on that top. It's real bad for you, but it's fun. It's kind of one of the candies we make at Christmas. And then we do the super simple um, pretzel twists with a Rolo on top. And then you push a pecan into the center. You just melt the Rolo a little bit in the oven with the pretzel, just barely. And then push the pecan in the top. Those are really good too. So let me know what you guys make. I'm sure people make much fancier stuff than I do, but I just never have time for <laughs> a lot of fanciness on that. Usually doing something else. That involves paper, right? But yeah, those are still fun things to do together anyway. I'll actually put this down here. That stick, yeah, it did. Okay. So then this will go in here. I'll probably stitch around it and add a piece of fabric to the top. And you're not gonna see a whole lot of the nativity, but really tight on that side okay and then it sticks up a little bit and then what I was thinking I have I made one of these um, altered playing cards and I just do that by sanding them just a tiny bit and then I just use a glue stick and glue down little like um, I'll just take it and do a strip, a glue, a strip, a glue, a strip, a glue, that type of thing. Or this one, it looks like I put it kind of all over the middle. Then I put book page on there, let it dry, tear it off, and you end up with just kind of bits and pieces of book page. And then I put um, whatever images I want. Like I put the snowflake. This is from Taylor Made Journals. And then Dear Santa, I can explain. And then over the top of that, I put pattern, sewing pattern tissue. So I think I'll take that right in there. And that's actually where I could write. So that will work for that page and if you wanted to you could write here stamp there put more decorative stuff there if you want to but for today i'm just gonna leave that the way it is and we'll find our two put that on i'll do this page for day two did i i didn't i don't think i turned on my timer did i Oh yeah, I did. Okay, good. Because I had no idea how long I'd been going. You could um, make these into altered paper clips. You could leave them as little tucks if you wanted to tuck something underneath them. Um, but I'm just going to glue these down all the way. These are really fun to make, these little clusters, because you can, you know, use up some scraps and, like, do it however you want. Let's stitch around them. Gail's been doing some cute clusters, too, where she adds um, ephemera, other ephemera, which is kind of like this, but, yeah, she's done some really cute ones that aren't the numbers, you know, so they're, you can use them wherever. Okay, so the thing I want to do on this page was I took pictures of... All the frostiness it's been so cold in the mornings so this one you can't see it as much but the frost is covering all those pine needles and then like on these sticks and stuff on my grapevines and then this leaf I don't know if you can tell but it's just all covered in frost so um yeah that's kind of what I've been waking up to every day I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them all though I might just have to do like a couple I could cut that one smaller because there's not a whole lot going on on that other part. I don't know if I won't even want that one. Because I want to put my 16 degrees is what it was when I got up this morning. 
And that is, I could just leave that kind of in the background. I could either do this frosty or this frosty. Maybe I'll do it like that and then I can write just a little bit over here. <clears throat> yeah, that'll work. So that's my day today so far, is that it's just plain stinking cold outside. <laughs> And I thought what we could do, since this doesn't take me very long, um, is work on that journal that we started yesterday, that envelope journal. So I'm going to leave that up and tuck this one underneath. So I just stamped that 16, and I actually used an O, you know, for the degree mark thing. Um, from a different set of letters, numbers, whatever. Because I didn't have a small number set. So just use whatever you've got. You could even just draw, you know, write 16 or whatever. I'm going to tuck this under here too, I think. So yeah, I definitely like to put more pictures because like I said, I'm not much of a writer. I don't really enjoy writing that much. So um, I kind of like using pictures in my journals. So they're really kind of almost more like scrapbooks, but they just don't have to be so perfect, which is really awesome. Because me and perfect, we aren't, we aren't very good friends. which I'm sure you can imagine with my dingy struggles. So yeah, I think that will give me, I just, you know, I can just write that it was cold. <laughs> this one's almost gone too. And I just, like I said, stamped that on some of my um, Blue Winter Digi. So that is simple enough, and um, I do kind of feel like I want something on there, so, because I doubt I would write, that's just not my, that's not my style. down there, you know, and have it 
hang off the edge too. All the things I think of afterwards, right? Try to do 
a little something beyond just you know, the single daily. Otherwise, that's all we're going to be doing. And we got lots of other things to do, right? Okay. So I apologize if there's any dead words on here. I don't have control over that entirely. So I'm just going to tear this down because it's too big as it is.
I know teachers because that's where I used to work. And a few people have gotten it, but they have gotten over it. So I just feel like I don't understand why certain places the kids go to school and others they don't. Because I, th I just think it's a huge disservice for those kids not to go to school. Because I know how hard it is to keep, you know, kids up to the levels they need to be at when you're there every day. So. And there's a lot of kids that can't do computer learning. Okay, so this is avocado dyed paper. I think that's what I'm going to put on the back and get kind of a rough idea of my size here. I can say words. kind of funny, it's with two different colors of dye, you can tell there's another piece of paper right there, but the color difference is interesting. would like to see me work on or you know make or whatever please let me know because I you know it's hard to keep coming up with ideas I mean sometimes I just come up with stuff and that's fine like I don't but um, it can be tricky so I like to always have some ideas in the back of my mind even if I don't do them like that minute or whatever um, it's just nice to, to have that
the reason for the season. Um, name that reason for the season. Snowflakes, maybe that's what I'll do on that um, on the December daily. That one page. <clears throat> so this kind of went hanging off, you know. Easy 
first journal if you're kind of scared of binding and all that. Just do the three whole pamphlet stitch. That's what I did for this one. <clears throat> and um, it works great. So I think it's a great, great first journal to make. You just want to try your hand at it. And then you're, if for whatever reason it doesn't work out, it's two envelopes and some paper, you know. That's not a big deal. You're not like destroying a whole bunch of, you know, if you've got some antique book or something like that that got messed up, that would be sad. But um, starting out this way is just kind of a good way. And it's probably something that more people have access to. I mean, they don't have to be out cotter dyed envelopes. They can be, you know, just plain envelopes. You could um, ink them. You could dye them with food coloring or coffee and have a nice little journal. I think it's super fun. Like I said, 12 sheets of paper folded in half and then this little flip out here for writing. And like I said, I did a three whole pamphlet stitch and we've, I've got lots of videos where I've done that, but you just poke your three holes. Um, I went down through the middle, came up through the top, went all the way down to this hole and back out the middle and then you tie it on either side of the binding and that's all it is so yeah so i hope you guys like that and that's where we're at with that we'll just kind of keep working on this along with working on um the december daily this one should be done pretty quick though i'm not gonna heavily heavily decorate it because it's just the envelopes and i don't want it to get too too fatty fatty so anyway I hope you guys have an awesome day. I thank all of you. Welcome to all new subscribers and welcome back to all returning subscribers. You guys are amazing and I love all of you. I hope you just have a wonderful day. We will chat again tomorrow. Bye.